Hi everyone, welcome back to my AP Calculus class. Uh, I will keep solving practice problems for indefinite integration from number 25. Let's start 25. If the substitution u equals square root x plus 1 is used, and then what is that expression equals? So integral 0 to 3, but if x is 0, u is 1, right? Square root of 0 plus 1. That must be 1. If x is 3, u is square root of 4, which is 2. So 1, 2, 2. So 1, 2, 2 is the answer. C and E cannot be answers, right? From 1 to 2, 1 over x times u. x times u. Then what is the x equals? We have to change all x functions to u functions because u is equal to square root of x plus 1. If you put square, square both sides, u squared is equal to x plus 1. So what is x equals? x equals u squared minus 1. So I'll change this part. u squared minus 1. u squared minus 1. Times u, 1 over u prime part and du. So what is u prime? u equals square root of x plus 1. So u prime is 1 over 2 radical x plus 1. So it is 1 over 2 square root x plus 1 du. I can change that a little more. The integral of 1 to 2, 1 over u squared plus minus 1 times u, and then it is 2 times this part, 2 times square root x plus 1. But square root x plus 1 is u part, right? So 2 times u du. And then this u and u cancel out. So 2 is in the front because 2 is a coefficient, kind of a constant. So uh, 2 integral 1 to 2, 1 over u squared minus 1 du. So which one is the answer? B is the answer. B is the answer. 2 over u squared minus 1 du. Yes. Let's go to numbers 26. Just evaluate integral 0 to 8 to 0, integral 8 to 0 f prime of x dx. Okay. Hmm. What is the integral of f prime of x? That is fx, right? So f prime of x. integral dx that is fx so it is f of x from a to 0 so plug in top number that means f of 0 minus plug in bottom number f of 8 in the table f of 0 is 11 minus f of 8 is 7 so 11 minus 7 is equal to 4 that means D is the answer. D is the answer. Number 27. Using M3. M3 means midpoint, midpoint rectangular approximation method. Remain some midpoint. M3 means three sub intervals, right? All right. So using M3, we found that approximate area of the shaded region below. Okay. Shaded region below means this graph. I'm going to make three sub intervals. You have to find M3. So 1 to 2, and then 2 to 4, 4 to 6. I try use the midpoint. What is midpoint from 0 to 2? 0 to 2 midpoint is 1. So at x equals 1. If x equals 1, what is y? y is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This point, this point, one five. That's midpoint. So, fourth rectangle area is this. So that area is two times base is two, two times height is five. That's ten. 
The second rectangle is between 2 and 4. So midpoint is 3. At x equals 3, y value is 18 minus 9, which is 9. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. At 3, it is 9. So this area, right? Yep. So base 2 times height is 9, is 18. The last two one is midpoint is 5. So maybe same as first sub interval because x is 5, 6 times 5 minus 25, it is 5, right? So 2 times 5, which is 10. So it is 38. Sum of these three numbers is what? 38. So t is the answer. Okay, we have to use midpoint of each sub interval. And that M3 means we have to make three intervals. So 0 to 6, make three intervals. 0 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 6. And I use midpoint, which is 1, 3, 5 to find that height. All right, next problem, 28. The graph of the continuous function f passes through points 4, 2, 6, 6, 7, 5, and 10, 8. Using trapezoid, estimate integral 4 to 10 fx dx. So I will just mark those four points at first 4 to x axis, y axis, 4 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. This point is 4 to. And then 6, 6, 5, 6. And then 3, 4, 5, 6. That's a 6, 6. 6, 6, 4 and 2, 7, 5, 7 is here, 5 is here, this point, 7, 5, 8, 9, 10, 10, 8, 10, 8, these points. So we're going to find trapezoidal method, so connect. These four points make a trapezoid. So first trapezoid is this. And second trapezoid looks like this. And third trapezoid is this. Second trapezoid is blue color area. Third trapezoid is green color area, right? Let's find the red color first. Area of trapezoid. Base 1 plus base 2 times height over 2. Base 1 is this length, 2, plus the base 2 is 6, times height, the height is 4 to 6, that's 2, over 2. So this is 8. Second trapezoid area, base 1, is 6, 6, 2, 7, 5, so 6 is base 1, base 2 is 5, 7, 5, yeah, and then the height is just 1, 6 to 7, right? Just 1 over 2. This is 11 over 2, which is 5.5. .5. The last one, 7 to 10, is 10, 8. Oh, there was 10, not 8. It is 10, and then y value was 8. All right. So, third one, what is base 1? It is 5, because 7, 5, right? So 5 plus base 2 is 8, 10, 8, right? Times height from 7 to 10 is 3, right? And divide by 2, which is 13 times 3 is 39 over 2. So, 19.5.5. 8 plus 5.5 5 5 point, 5 5 plus 19.5. It is 25.33. That is 33, right? Sum of the three numbers. 13.5. And then 33. So, D is the answer.
So just to mark those four points, make three trapezoid, and then find the sum of those three. Trapezoid area. Trapezoid area is what? Base 1 plus base 2 times height over 2. Number 29. The area of the shaded region in the figure is equal to exactly ln3. If we approximate ln3, L2, and R2, which inequality follows? All right. So, we try to find L2 and R2. I'm going to use blue color for the L2. L2 means left side remain sum. So, between 1 and 2, left point is 1. At 1 on the graph, we can make two rectangles, right? This rectangle is area and at the left, left point between 2 and 3, which means 2 at 2 on the graph, make another rectangle, right? Sum of this blue shaded region is L2. L2. L2 should be bigger than actual area, right? It's overestimated. So L2 is bigger than. What is L2? L2 is 1 times, because the base is 1. That the height is y value and x equals 1. That's 1. So 1 times 1 plus second square, second rectangle area, base is 1 times height is y value and x equals 2, which is 1 half. So that is 1 plus half, 1.5. 1.5. Let's just let's find um, R R2. R2. I'm gonna use right side point. Between one and two, two is right right point, and then the rectangle is smaller. That is one half. Because one times y value, y uh, when x equals two, so one half plus next rectangle area is this, right? Because we're going to use a right side point. So 1 times, what is y value when x equals 3 is 1 third. So 1 half plus 1 third, 5 over 6. So actual area integral 1 to 3 fx dx, 1 over x dx, that is greater than 5 over 6 because that r2 is underestimated and then less than. L2 is overestimated, right? Which was 1.53 over 2. So actual area should be between 5 over 6 and 3 over 2. So E is the answer. E is the answer. Next problem. Number 30. A maybe literally means actual area, right? Integral 0 to 1 cosine x dx. Cosine x dx is at we estimate A using LRT approximation with N equals 100 subintervals, which is true. You don't have to find the 100, right? Just to think about left remains some right remains some trapezoid, and then just compare values, right? So what is the cosine x graph? Cosine x graph starts from maximum point and then going down. Something like this, right? This is pi over 2. A little bigger than 1. So 0 to 1, 0 is here, 1 is a little less than pi over 2. Between 0 and 1, just uh, use the two sub intervals only. So if we use two sub intervals, 0 to 1 half and 1 half to 1, what about L? L means left side point. It is totally much bigger than actual area, right? So L is bigger than actual area. Okay, so actual area is less than L. You can find it easily. What about R? If you use a right side point, I'm gonna use green color, this area, and this area. Okay, the so right remains some definitely less than is underestimated right it is the smallest typing 
So it's a R is smallest. What about TAM, trapezoidal? Yellow color. It just connect to points. This point, this point. Find this trapezoid area and find this. It's very close to actual, area. just a little bit underestimated, right? A little bit underestimated. So T is between A and R. That makes sense, right? So L is biggest, R is smallest. And between them, there is T and A, but actual area is just a little bit bigger than trapezoid. Trapezoid approximation value is just underestimated just a little bit. So L A T R, L A T R D is the answer. You don't have to find that on hundreds of intervals. Same result anyway. So I just used two sub intervals. Okay. Number 31. Integral negative 1, 2, 3, absolute value of x dx. So what is absolute value of x graph? It's a V function, right? V function. If x is greater than greater than zero y equals x, but what if x is less than zero, so y equals negative x. So v function, negative 1 here, and then 3, 1, 2, 3 is here. Okay, if x is negative 1, y value is what? Positive 1. If x is 3, y value is 3. Integral negative 1 to 3, fx dx. That's area under the curve with x axis. Just so you can find that this area and this area, right? So it's the first part area, 1 times 1 over 2, base times height over 2. That's triangles area, right? Plus the right side the bigger triangles area, base is 3, height is 3, 3 times 3 over 2. So 1 over 2 plus 9 over 2, which is 5. So answer is 5. All right, number 32, same kind of problem. What is this graph? Y equals absolute value of x plus 1. It is translated when you did to the left. Okay. So at x equals negative 1, V function again. Like this. So from negative 3, negative 2, negative 3. 2, positive 2, 1, 2. So left side. This area first, base is 2, and then height is 2, because when x equals negative 3, y value is 2, over 2, plus, this range is 3, right? 3 times, what is height? Height is 3, because if x equals 2, y is 3, over 2. So, 4 over 2 plus 9 over 2, which is 13 over 2 because definite integration will be basically area right 13 over 2 answer is e is the answer e is the answer number 33 it is about average value of a function what is the formula average value of a function fx between a and b integral a to b fx dx over b minus a a. That is the average value of the function. On its domain, which means radical function's domain supposed to be always inside the radical part, 64 minus x squared part, that supposed to be already greater, greater than or equal to 0. So x squared is less than or equal to 64. So x is between negative 8 and 8. That's the domain. So a and b is negative 8 and 8. So average value of the, this function is integral negative 8 to 8 fx square root of 64 minus x squared dx over b minus a, 8 minus negative 8. Okay? This is semicircle, right? This part is a semicircle. What kind of semicircle? If y equals square root of 64 minus x squared, square square both sides. 
which means y squared equals 64 minus x squared. So x squared plus y squared is 64. In the circle's equation, the center is 0, 0, and radius is 8. So a kind of semicircle. This semicircle is here. x axis, y axis, negative 8 to 8. This area, right? Because this is positive in front of the vertical, is above the x-axis, right? So pi r squared over to this area of semicircle. Pi times a, uh, r is 8. So 8 squared over to 64 pi over 2, which is 32 pi. So this part is 32 pi. 32 pi over 8 minus negative 8 is 16 which is 2 pi. That 2 pi is average rate, average value of the function. So C is the answer. I'm done today here. So I will keep solving from number 35 in the next video. Thank you so much for watching my video and click subscribe and like and turn on the notification. Bye bye.